In question 10, we need to determine the coordinates of the centre C and the radius of the circle with equation x squared plus y squared plus 4x take away 10y plus 13 equals 0. And you can see that I found the circle to have a centre at minus 2,5 and a radius of 4. Now I'm going to use the Casio graphical calculator to draw the equation of this circle and see if I can confirm these two pieces of information. I want to use graph option 9 this time, the conic graphs, and it gives me different options and I'm going to scroll down until I find the equation of a circle. There's one form of the equation of a circle and there is another form of the equation of a circle and that's the one I'd like so I select execute okay all I need to do is compare the coefficients of x squared y squared x y and the constant term to my equation here because it's already in the form equal to zero well you can see that the coefficient of x squared and y squared is just one I select execute the coefficient of b is four and select execute again the coefficient of C is negative 10 and again I select execute and the constant term is actually 13 so I select execute and F6 to draw now of course this is a very poor representation of a circle and all we need to do to adjust it is to go into the V window settings to change the parameters for the scale now if you think about it, if the circle has a centre at minus 2,5 and a radius of 4, I need, I need at least to go to the left of the origin by minus 2 take away 4, that's minus 6. So I'll go a bit further than that, I'll choose minus 8 and I'll choose the maximum to be, well, I need to go as far as minus 2 plus 4, which is 2. And again, I'll go a bit further than that, so I'll go as far as 4. OK, now for the y-axis. If the centre's at minus 2,5, the top of the circle, so to speak, will be at 9 units above the x-axis. So I think I'll choose the y-maximum to be something bigger than 9, let's say 12. And for the minimum... I will keep it as zero. OK. I select execute and F6 to draw. OK, now I can see this more clearly, but the reason I don't have what looks like a circle and something more like an ellipse is simply because the actual display screen is not a square. One way to fix this is to go back to V window and to choose F5 for square. So once I've picked square and I choose Y base and if I select execute and F6 to draw OK now I have a representation of a circle so I can use the G solve menu F5 and if I select F1 it confirms the centre to be minus 2 comma 5 and again if I use G solve the radius is under F2 and that gives me radius r equals 4. So both of these have confirmed my calculations.